I'm Patrick Cristiano for Spotlight in the Arts, and we're here in the green room after the opening of John Doyle's As You Like It. I'm with the Academy Award winning, Tony Award winning, and Emmy Award winning actress Ellen Burstyn, who stars in the production. Hello, Ellen. Thank you so much for coming to chat with me. I'm in the green room with Ellen Burstyn, and we just opened, she just opened, excuse me, <laughs> and John Doyle's As You Like It, and she plays Jacques. Yeah. Am I pronouncing J the character? No, it's Jaquis. Jaquis. I, I, I didn't yeah. think I, I think I was messing that I've, up. I've had trouble with this too. It's <laughs> not easy. I keep putting that C in when I write it, and there's no C in it. It's J A Q U E S. Oh, Jaquis. you were you were terrific. Thank you. Very moving and very melancholy. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to play melancholy. You know, I'm I'm a pretty happy person and upbeat and. Uh, uh, the idea of being melancholy as a kind of choice and liking it was very um, strange for me at first. But um, I found a way to it, and that is, you know, Jaquist is usually played by a man, mm -hmm. and when I, when John asked me to play the part, of course it was the great seven ages of man speech, it can't turn that down. <laughs> but I said, John, am I playing a man? And he said, mm, more your male side. I thought, oh, that's interesting. What's my male side? I've never really explored that. I don't know that I know what that is. So I did a lot of internal work on it. And what I finally came to is that if if it was today, Jake Quiz would be a, a transgender person. Ah. But that there was no, uh, you know, surgery yeah, yeah, for yeah. that yeah. then, um, back mid 20th century. Um, and that's where the melancholy comes from. Very interesting. Yeah, that, that she has a, he has a woman's body. So, um, once I decided on that and felt into that, it was very easy to be melancholy because what a, what a, I don't know what to say, sad yeah. feeling. When you make a solid choice, when you make a solid choice like that, it, 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 it infuses everything else you do. Yeah, exactly. Hello. <laughs> um, and so that, that became the source of my melancholy. And it was very interesting for me because I never moved into that kind of space before internally with my imagination, you know? And I felt it, because I've, I've never really understood somebody making the choice to change their gender. I mean, understood it emotionally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I suddenly did. I felt it. Oh, wow. And uh, it, it felt deeply sad. I think you did a beautiful job of embodying the melancholy. Good. I mean, and, and you sustained it also. It wasn't, it didn't, you know, it felt authentic. Great. Yeah. Thank and, you. and I see where you got it from and how, how that would carry you to, to do it throughout the production. Yeah. Very, very nice. Very, yeah. very nice thoughtful. Have you worked with John before? Yes, we did a film together. I think it was John's only film. What was that? It was called Main Street. And Main Street, and it was, um, I'm trying to think of the author's name, who is a friend of mine. Uh -huh. Well, we all have those moments. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, <don't> know <laughs> uh, I can't think of it. Have you been here before to Sag Harbor? Have you been out this way? And not for years. Mm -hmm. I used to go to Amagansett many, many oh, decades ago when it was not built up. It was very 
just empty, beautiful mm -hmm. uh, space on the bay. Um, and I used to come out here in the summer. But I, I came out for the first time again after decades, uh, about a year ago, and I was shocked to see I didn't recognize <laughs> Amagansett <laughs> at all. It's so much more built up. <laughs> yes. But it's still, it's still pretty in a lot yeah. of different areas, and, and it's, it's nice. This is a gorgeous part of the country yeah. you know, with, the, with the water all around. It's really beautiful. I'm astonished at the boats. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, my God, they're the biggest boats, uh, yachts, <laughs> I've yachts, ever yes. seen <laughs> in my life. The, really, who are these people? <laughs> yeah, we have yachts right up the street here on the pier that yeah. we're on. <laughs> and they, they're not all American either. I, <laughs> you know, British flags, Canadian we, we, No, we have a lot of diversification here yeah. in the world. So, so have a wonderful run of this Thank play, you. and you're going to open it at CSC on September 13th, I think it is. I, they haven't told us the exact opening date, but it's around I there think, Well, it's around there. I, I think Scott told me it was around uh -huh. that date, but he, um, no one knows. It's, I, don't, we, I don't know that it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. but, but have fun with this run. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming back and taking My a few pleasure. minutes to chat. I, I Really very insightful too. Uh, Thank you. And, and have a great run in New York. Thank you. Okay, I'm with Hannah Cabell who plays Rosalind in As You Like It, John Doyle's As You Like It. We just opened, she just opened, and we're in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you Thank did a wonderful job. You. Thank you so much. You know, it's one of the parts that every actress dreams to play, so <laughs> it's a real opportunity to get to play it, especially with John in this company. Oh, how was it working with him? It was wonderful. I mean, this is my second time working with him. We did Three Sisters together in Cincinnati five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just overjoyed to be working with him again, and he's incredible. So it was really fun. Well, there's an interview in the program that said he casts his productions by the people that he thinks he would like to play with. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's definitely true. John plays a lot. It's so interesting because he also casts, in my opinion, really well because... You're always a little bit concerned at the start of rehearsal who's going to be able to jump in on this kind of process, mm -hmm. but the people that he casts are always so game. It's really impressive to me. Well, you, you did a wonderful job, and you're gonna, the, the play's going to move to see a C. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? It's really exciting. I'm <laughs> thrilled. It's, it's a lovely benefit to be able to do it for this long out here with this lovely audience. And then to get to do it again at CSC, it's something that we as actors don't get that often anymore, to get out of town tryouts, kind <laughs> of, you know, or at least time to make it into a well-oiled machine. So I feel really grateful for that. Did, were there any particular kind of challenges you had in taking on this role? Well, I have played this role before. Uh, where? In Florence, Italy. Oh, how <laughs> cool. <enough. laughs> yeah, a five-person adaptation of it um, with Jim Calder and... Mark Wing Davy directing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had a lot of thoughts about it before, a lot of preconceived notions, which I have used, certainly. I haven't thrown out the baby with the bathwater, I don't think, but, mm -hmm. um, but it's been interesting to try to come to it also as to a, with a clean slate. Which so is a speak. little tricky, right? Which is a little tricky, yeah, <laughs> to be like, these are new people, this is a new concept for the show, but it's wonderful. You know, John, I feel so comfortable with that I can talk to him about those kind of struggles or interesting dilemmas, mm -hmm. and we work it out together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you, did you find any kind of a challenge, um, since you've done this before, about playing the, the man aspect, or do you feel like you have to hide anything, or do you just, what do you do? Well, it's nice, actually, to get the opportunity to do it again, mm -hmm. because it is so, it's such a question of, how much is she covering? How much of the play does she seriously have to cover for? Mm -hmm. How much does she crack? Especially for Orlando, uh -huh. of course. When does she let him see a little bit of her feminine side? And then at the same time, I love to think about how, how freeing it is for Rosalind when she puts on those boys' clothes, how freeing it is to be able to act that way, which was not allowed for her, e either in Shakespeare's time or in the time, the era that we're sort of setting it now, 30s slash 50s, <laughs> um, or even today, you know, there's a certain freedom, not so much today because there's a lot of sort of cross-gender dressing which isn't remarked upon, it's mm -hmm. become very normal, mm -hmm. but in those times to really think about the freedom that comes with dress 
and with putting on a persona and what she can take away from that as well and, and keep for herself, that she doesn't have to let go of Ganymede, the boy, completely mm -hmm. after this experience in the woods. Right, that She right. can retain some of that masculinity or strength, whatever you want to call it, and keep that for herself and use it for herself. Well, that's a fascinating approach. I, I had never thought of all that. Oh, <laughs> but 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 I do. I agree with you. Like when you put on a costume, you get freer because you you're not yourself. So you can do all kinds of things that you wouldn't normally do and try different things. And, right. And then you've 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 uh, expanded yourself. So now it becomes a part of you if you wanted to. Very Absolutely. Clever. Yes. <laughs> and a, a disguise. I mean, you can do things that you'd never do as yourself <laughs> in disguise. So, so you, we, it's a three week run, right? It's a, yes, a three-week one run here, and then about a, a six-week run at CSC, I believe, yeah, through what, the end of October. Uh, September 13th, is that right? I believe so, well, yes. Well, enjoy your run. Thank it was you. terrific. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. You, 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 you drove the play. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I really yeah, appreciate yeah. it. And have fun and do a, just have a ball. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming to chat. It's really kind of you. My pleasure. Yeah, ditto. <laughs> Good evening. It's Patrick Cristiano, and I'm at Bay Street Theater in the Green Room after the opening of John Doyle's As You Like It. And I'm here with the critic, the writer, Michael Riedel, who I think really liked it. Yes, very much so, Patrick. You know, I haven't seen the play since when Gwyneth Paltrow won the Oscar for Shakespeare in Love. She did a production of As You Like It up at the Williamstown Theater Festival. And that has to have been 15, 16, 17 years ago. So I have not seen the play since then. And I remembered when the great Ellen Burstyn came out and did the uh, famous Jacques speeches, it was Michael Kumpstein who did it with Gwyneth Paltrow back in those days. Wow, 17 years ago. 17 or 18 years ago, yeah. I shudder, I mean, uh, cut back, please. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, it was just last year, six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Michael, for taking some time to come back here. But so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a beautiful play, uh, a comedy, but of course with everything with Shakespeare, underneath the comedy there is, and I think John Doyle understands this better than most directors, there's the melancholy, and there's the sense of time passing, and that love is fleeting, and you better get it right. And all of these characters are trying to get love right, because as they all know, what Jacques Lee says is true, Sooner or later, sounds eyes, sounds smell, sounds everything. And all you really have at the end of your life is someone with any luck that you loved and who loved you. In the moment. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for coming back. You want, you want to say anything else about the production? Uh, always a pleasure to be here at uh, Bay Street. Uh, I'm a big fan of John Doyle's, and I thought Stephen Schwartz's music was terrific. I mean, I've heard the Hey Nani No songs many times over the years, but Stephen brought that kind of jazzy Broadway rhythm to it that uh, made me hear these songs uh, almost as though I, I was hearing them for the first time, even though they're... Uh, 500 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of John Doyle myself. It, it was terrific, I thought. A lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, thank you for taking a couple of moments to come back and chat with us. Always a pleasure to you. Are you going to write about the show? Uh, probably not, because it doesn't run long enough, and I'm on vacation. Oh, okay. But you'll, you'll see it at CSC. I'll see it at CSC. Okay, you'll write about it then, I guess. I will write about it then. Thank you so it's much. The out-of-town tryout in Sag Harbor. <laughs> beats Boston. <laughs> So I'm with Kyle Scatliff, yes. who plays Orlando and John Doyle's As You Like It at Bay Street. Uh, it's opening night. So how does it feel? Great. It was really great. It was awesome crowd. Everyone got the jokes, thank goodness. Because, <laughs> you know, it's like you're doing Shakespeare. And you're, like, always wondering, you're like, can they understand what we're saying? I hope so. But uh, it was great. Uh, it, it's been the best crowd we've had so far, and it's been lovely. They, they enjoyed it. They loved the progression of the show. They... I'm happy. I'm good. Well, you, 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 you seem happy, too, and you, it, it translates on the stage, too. Oh, yes, so, oh, thank you. Know. you. If you're not having any fun, the audience isn't going to have any uh, fun. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. They know. They know if you're tired of it. You're like, uh. <laughs> no, you, you're raring to go. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> it's apparent. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. So how, how is it working with John? This is your second show with him? Yes, my second show. My first show with him was The Color Purple. Um, and which I saw you were dynamite as Harpo. Oh, thank you so much. I, thanks. Um, yeah, this is my second show with him. He's my favorite director. So, like, thanks, John. Uh, <laughs> like, I just love working with him. Um, I just love his attention to detail and the way his use of 
empty space and like you know his use of uh, the imagination uh, of making sure that people come into a show using their imaginations instead of us making everything easy for them the having each individual person in the audience use their imaginations or their own experiences when they watch the show because everything is just a suggestion mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. whatever that suggestion is could be different to each person so it's, I love that. It's like, you know, 100 people can come watch a show and all of them have, all 100 people have a different experience. I love it. It's my favorite kind of theater. Uh, it's kind of like a little, like life. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little slice of life. <laughs> Interpret everything as you will. Exactly. Yeah. Did, did you, I, I, I don't think, did you have any special challenges in doing this? Uh, it's been 10 years since I did Shakespeare. It's been a while. Oh, Last time it. I did it was a... Uh, Your challenge was doing Shakespeare. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he was just like, he was banging technique back into my head. He's like, this technique, that technique. He's like, remember this and that. And I was like, all right, right, John right. was doing that? Yes. So <laughs> like there's, uh, for me, it was the technique hurdle because um, it's language based instead of it being uh, emotion based in any sort of way, but it's all language. So it's how you use the language and how you spar with the other person with the language that, that gives you uh, that the, the interpretation, the correct interpretation, yeah. But isn't it true the emotion's underneath, isn't it? The emotion is underneath, but the language drives the thought. Right. Like, <laughs> instead of the thought driving the language, you know, like in movies you see people like thinking and really getting into it, and it's like, nope, nope, they've already had the thought. The language <laughs> is the thought. So it's really, it's, a, it's been a fun challenge, but uh, it's been one I've been having a lot of fun mm -hmm. with, yeah. And have you ever been out this way before? No, actually. I've, the closest I've been to Sag Harbor was Montauk. But, uh, that's, a, that's past Sag Harbor. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the closest I've ever been. But it was, uh, it was in 2010. Uh, I was graduating uh, from Amda, New York, and we, like our whole class, just decided, hey, let's go to Montauk and go on like, a little mini vacation. So we like went out here for a weekend, and... Um, and <laughs> and we were out there for like a couple of days. That was the only time I'd ever been to really to like the outer parts of Long Island. Oh, oh. Um, but this is my first time in Sag Harbor. It's a beautiful little. Well, town. Montauk's a little different than Sag Harbor. Oh yes, yes, very, <laughs> yes, very much so. And especially seven years ago. Exactly. <laughs> I have no idea what it looks like now. God, hopefully still still nice. No, it's pretty uh, much the same. It's pretty. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, I I love this town. It's beautiful. Like the moment I got out here, I was just like, oh, I feel. Because I grew up in Jersey, so I'm like, I Where? feel like uh, Westwood in Westwood, New Jersey. So I was like, I feel like I'm back in the suburbs. Everything is peaceful. I, I've never seen so many boats in my life. It's beautiful. I want to go to the... Um, Those are yachts. Yeah, the yachts, <laughs> yeah. Which is amazing. And then they were like, yeah, Billy Joel used to live in this house. And this. I was just like, wow. It was just, it's, it's an amazing town. I really like it. And everyone out here is so nice. I was like, everyone out here is so nice. I was like, <laughs> I don't bump into you in New York. Where's all those people? But uh, it's, it's great. Everyone out here is wonderful. Um, it's been a great experience so far. I'm looking forward to the next couple of weeks. We'll just have to get you a place out here. Exactly. Hey, <laughs> if you go pay for it, I'll <laughs> I realized you and I look like we got the memo today with Dots. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the same wavelength. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations again on the run. Oh, thank have, you. Have a lot of fun with it. Mm. And... Uh, you're going to New York with this. You got you yeah. another gig out of this too. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking CSC forward to it. I've never gotten a chance to work at Classic Stage, and I love the space. This and they're uh, changing the space actually before we go in. So I'm really looking forward to this like new space that's also had 50 years of theater lived in mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and and so it's going to be really interesting to see what uh, to see what we do there because there's extra little pockets of the room we can use. So he's going to mix and match and see what happens, but it's going to be fun. Well, the, the show was tremendous. Thank, thank you so much for coming back and taking a few minutes. Uh, you know, and I, I was a fan of yours when I saw you in Harpo. So, that, that, I, and I mean, in the color purple, mm. as Harpo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so, th thank you again. Have a great run. Oh, thank you, thank you. Any, any, any other parting comments? Um. No, just come to the show, enjoy it, have fun. It's it's a yeah, romp. Come to the show and enjoy it. It's yeah, a lot of fun. it's a lot of fun. I'm, with, I'm in the green room still, and it's the, after the opening of. As You Like It, John Doyle's As You Like It. I'm with Noah Brody, who played Oliver. And what's the other character again? Corin. Corin, yes. Oh, Corin is the... Uh, He's the shepherd the in shepherd. the Forest of Arden. Who ha has the crush on Audrey? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's Sylvia. So okay. It's, uh, Touchstone and I have a, have a bit of a... Um, uh, a battle of wits between us. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. I, oh, yes, I remember now. Now I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Very good. Thank you. It, it was a wonderful production. Well, th yeah, thank you very much. It's, it's really uh, beautiful. It's been a pleasure to work on and a uh, uh, wonderful director and an amazing cast to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever worked with John Doyle before? No, this is my first time, although um, I'm a co-artistic director of another company that is, we're, we're 
uh, have a show going into CSC right after As You Like It. What's the company? Uh, Fiasco Theater. And what are you bringing in? We're bringing in Twelfth Night. And uh, so John is going to be designing our sets for that. And so this was an opportunity for us to sort of cross over and get to work with each other. And it's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, how cool. Where, where, where is the theater company? It's a New York-based theater company. In, in the city? Yep. Oh. yep. Do, do you have a home? Uh, we don't have a, we don't have a theater or a space. We have mm -hmm. offices in Manhattan, mm -hmm. but we're sort of basically you know based in Brooklyn, Manhattan, and one person in Jersey. <laughs> 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 but we but we work in New York and all around the country. Yeah. So how was it working with John? Uh, I mean, an absolute pleasure. Uh, you know he's a he's quite a visionary director um, uh, with a very strong sense, uh, aesthetic sense, and a very a very strong directorial sense. Uh, so it's very strong leadership that's easy to follow. Um, and so he's created, a, I think, a beautiful production, uh, quite lush production with quite minimalistic uh, uh, aesthetic values, but feels very lush and realized. And uh, It's incredible how you can do that, isn't it? Well, you know, um, small gestures can add up to, uh, can have a big impact. Um, and I think he understands that. Um, it's sort of like... Um, Oh, uh, who's the who, who's the uh, painter who paints those red blocks? Um, oh, um, yes, the, the, the play Rothko. Uh, uh, Rothko, yeah, it's it, it, not unlike Rothko. Something that it seems quite simple at first uh, can acquire a, a deep sense of, of, of power and resonance. Uh, and those sort of simple metaphorical gestures. Uh, he, he, he uses quite deftly and quite powerfully throughout mm -hmm. his, all of his works, and I think particularly in this show. Mm -hmm. And then it's up to you as the actor to fill them. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> and, and that becomes the challenge, to work naturalistically, quote-unquote, within a uh, somewhat unnaturalistic environment, to, mm -hmm. to uh, create human behavior and human relationship inside of a somewhat uh, associative visualistic shell. Uh, but that's that's the job, and, and he articulates that very well. And I think uh, he's chosen a, a wonderful you know cast to lead the you know, leads especially that kind of take us through that journey, and I uh, think uh, quite successfully. And there's an interview with him in the program. He he speaks uh, speaks to Will, uh, the assistant uh, executive director here, yeah. and he talks about how he casts plays by the people that he would like to play with. I think that's exactly. Have you right. read that interview? I haven't read that interview, but it makes sense. You know, I, I'm part of an ensemble company, and when we when we bring in people from outside the ensemble, that's the first question: is who do we want to play with? Mm -hmm. Because plays are really made in a rehearsal room, mm -hmm. and they're they're made in between and amongst people, um, and so it, it's a question of who do you want to spend time with? Who's going to be fun? Who's going to be interesting? Who's going to bring something, both individualistically, but also as part of something larger? Uh, and I, I can only say that he's put together a group of the s really the sweetest people that I could imagine working with and some incredibly talented people as well. You know, it's a tremendous cast. To have a great run. Have you been here to Sag Harbor out this way before? Uh, only once before, uh, many years ago with, uh, with my company briefly, uh, mm -hmm. but this is my first time working here in any real capacity or spending time in Sag Harbor. It's been actually beautiful. Uh, so it's great to have a ball and enjoy the area, enjoy the play, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in New York, too. Thank you very much. And, and then you're, you're going to come back and you're doing another production of Twelfth Night? We're doing a production of Twelfth Night at Classic Stage Company in New York. When is that? Uh, that that'll be in uh, December of this year. Okay. And are you are you are you doing something in it yourself? I'm co-directing the production, and I'll be playing Orsino. Oh, how fabulous! Yeah. And so we'll look forward to seeing that as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time. It's really kind of you. It's been my pleasure. So I'm here with Quincy Tyler Bernstein, who plays Celia, and as you like it. So how does it feel? It feels great. I'm happy to be open. And congratulations. Thank you very much. It was a wonderful evening. It was a wonderful opening night. You had a very good audience. Yeah, we did. We did. We had a very lively, energetic audience, which was very helpful. <laughs> have, you, have you worked with John before? I have. I did Peer Gint with him last year at the Classic Stage Company. Oh. Okay. So this is my second time, and I love him. Yeah. Well, what's not to love about John? Huh? Yeah, he's yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah, I've seen just about everything he's done. Oh, and I've yeah. Been, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm a big fan of his work as he's well. He's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. So I will do anything he says. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, there's an, I don't know if you've read it or not, there's an interview uh, with Will Pomerantz the, uh, no. the, in, in the program with uh, John. And in it he says that he doesn't cast 
his shows by types. He casts his shows by people that he would like to play with. Mm, I mean, I believe that. I, I love him, and we're, we're, I would like to say we're great friends now, and we've had just a wonderful time, you know, doing the play and talking about politics in life and he's oh my just god you talked about politics all every day oh no every day i know oh no is right oh no is right it's dark <laughs> these are dark times we're living in <laughs> yeah yeah I, I do my i i anyway i can't get away from it either i know it's hard it's, 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 really it's hard not to yeah 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 but, yeah you know so is this your first time out this way i you know i have a dear friend who has a home in bridgehampton so i've been out to visit her but this is the first time i've spent significant you know, and it's a significant amount of time here. So you're not having culture shock then, because uh, you've been here before. I've been here before, <laughs> but it's interesting. It's an interesting place, but it's beautiful. Spent two hours on the water today, which is really nice. And, and you have a day off on Monday? Day off on Monday. What yeah. are you going to do on your day off? I think I'm going to rest as much as I can, maybe go for a paddle, and yeah. Yeah, just try to enjoy Sag Harbor. Well, now, did you have any special challenges in doing Celia? Um. Oh, I mean, I haven't done Shakespeare in many, many years. So ah, so you had the same challenge. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that was a challenge in and of itself. But Celia, I find, is such a delight. You know, she's just, oh, goodness. The roof is caving in. Um, she's just so much fun. So I, you know, John just let me play. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, well it's, a, it's a tremendous production. It's really lovely. It's and awesome thank you so much for coming back to, to uh, chat with me a little bit. And, and uh, you get to bring it to New York, too. Isn't yeah, that exciting? I'm very excited. I'm very excited to sleep in my own bed and get to do this production <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not too bad, Shabby, being out here. Not it? too bad at all. It's beautiful. <laughs> You, you have a tremendous run. Have a play with it all your, to your heart's content. Thank and you. I wish you a great time in New York as well. Thank you so much. And I appreciate it. congratulations on your opening. Thank you very much.